Okay, so I'll just go over what I did really quick here. So I bought uh, regular style Alteza taillights. You know, they had the three red things. I popped this out. I got an amber three inch reflector from a local hardware store or uh, Northern Twin Equipment actually. And even though it's a reflector, light does shine through there. I've tested it. So now we've got an amber turn signal and two brake lights. I uh, stuck these halos on here, two red, one yellow, measured and ordered the appropriate sizes. And in the back here, I'm gonna wire all the red or positive leads together, all the negative together. And then the plan is to just run it off of the, um, the running light wire, so the low filament wire. I believe the uh, green and white is a uh, flasher signal or a high voltage for the high filament bulb. Um, so this will be for brakes or for turn signal or for hazards. Um, but I'm gonna cut into this uh, other wire for the low filament. So every whenever I turn on the running lights, the halos should turn on. All right guys, turns out I'm kind of an idiot. I tapped in the wrong one. So I'll show you this uh, wiring harness here. All the negatives are tapped into the, you know, the one negative like they should be. But I tapped into this solid green wire and uh, not this uh, green with white. Um, and I feel kind of like an idiot for that because it's actually the other way around. So anybody trying to copy this, um, the green with white is the running lights. The solid green is brake lights. So when I flip on my running lights, I just get the regular bulbs there. So I'll turn those off, but then put my foot down here on the brake. So I'll have to switch that, but they do look pretty damn cool. They're pretty bright for running lights, so I might need to throw a couple resistors in there, at least for the, um, the amber LED, because that is bright. All right, so I've got them in working correctly. Um, the last thing I have to do is splice into the uh, harness to get the uh, turn signal to work properly. There we go. Ignore the uh, class of 2024. Graduation is just a couple days ago. But for running lights, dude, those are sweet. I love them. They're pretty bright at night, but I do have the center that lights up as a break. I'll show you real quick. So for right now, the middles are gonna flash. Like the, the middle uh, brake lights are working as hazards. Um, so I have to change the wiring on the car for that, but you know, I love that, so. Now I'm gonna go over the uh, splices you need to make inside the car's factory wiring to get these to work the way you want them to. So first you gotta lift up the uh, center console and uh, get behind the radio. There's this flasher relay back here. Uh, usually it's mounted right up there. And on this plug, there is a solid green wire. I believe there's two of them. Um, you're just gonna cut the one that's closest to the center clip here. It's like the uh, second or third pin here. Sorry, this is a bad angle. Um, you can kind of see it in there. And then behind the driver's side rear speaker panel uh, area, there's wires here with a, a plug. You need to tap into this green wire right here. This is a solid brake signal, I believe for the third brake light on the uh, rear windshield, the high mount. You're gonna put a wire running from here. So remember now, this is just a solid brake signal with no flasher in it. You're gonna run a wire into the trunk and it's a yellow wire uh, in my case. So we'll go look at that real quick. What I realized, you're not like splicing into this green wire back here. You're adding a wire um, because this is a brake signal wire. So it comes up from there and it goes up into the uh, hatch and into that third brake light up there. So now you have this yellow wire in the trunk here. You're gonna need to make a cut into your uh, uh, factory taillight harness, which I know is bad. I have plan on being the only owner of this car, knock on wood. I mean, we know how reliable DSMs are. So I don't really care, um, but I'm cutting into the taillight harness here. There is a gray with blue wire 
and that corresponds to this pin right here that's by itself. There's these two and then there's a pin by itself, which if we remember from our taillight assembly is the uh, solid green or the flasher signal or the high voltage, you know, lamp. So now we have this live brake wire um, that is going into the plug and that's going to light up the solid brake lights with no flashers or anything. Run a second wire um, off of that. That's going to go over here to the other side. On this side, it is this gray and red. I'm going to cut into it right here because it's easier, but if you follow it, it goes up to this plug here. And then uh, what you need to do is since we cut that gray with blue wire, there's two sides. Um, so the side feeding into the uh, harness there, we tied the brake signal into. The other side, we're going to run a new wire because I believe this one is still live. This will still be a flasher signal. Run a new wire, uh, different color helps you stay organized. Run that new wire up into your outermost bulb, which will be sitting here as our amber bulb. I'm not a mechanic or an electrician, I'm just some kid. So I still gotta finish this up and see if it works. And I'm trying to make this tutorial as easy to follow as possible and really explain what each of the wires do because all the stuff online I found, I had, I could not understand it. I had to read a bunch of forums from like 20 years ago and watch a couple of videos. So I'm gonna finish this up, test it out. Okay, quick test here with the flashers going, the hazard lights, the bulbs do flash. Um, and one more thing, since it's going to be running all LEDs, I'm not going to wire in um, a load resistor for the brake lights, but I will do one just in series with this power wire for the bulb here, just so the LED uh, turn signals don't hyper blink, because um, I have that on my other car. I hate the look of it. As you can see, foot on the brake pedal down there, uh, press the brakes, brake lights light up. I know I'm missing a bulb. I just got to throw a bulb in. Turn on the running lights, or the parking lights. Those turn on, brakes, nice and bright. I did have to put LED bulbs in because those halos are bright. Um, and then I'll turn on the hazards. And I don't have the bulbs for them in, but you can see the uh, bulb over there in the corner flashing, and the brakes, so yeah.